Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob here again, and today I have something to announce that may or may not work, but we're gonna have fun either way. So, I'm here to announce that I'm going to be hosting a tournament that is not really like any other gaming tournament that you've probably ever seen, and that's because this tournament is gonna be working a little bit more like figure skating. And I now hear me out before you click off of this video, I'm gonna explain. So, our fan base is kind of divided over a bunch of consoles, so it'll be quite hard to have a tournament that actually includes everyone and, you know, is fun and stuff. So I thought I'm gonna hold a tournament that will allow everyone to participate at no matter what level and no matter what console, so all of my fans can be involved. Now, how does a gaming tournament work like figure, uh, figure skating, I hear you asking. So, the way it's gonna work is like figure skating, Certain feats will earn you certain amounts of points. And I have a whole score sheet that I will probably link in the description of this video, but basically cool things equal more points. So things like really awesome combos, or good reads, or mix-ups, or pressure, or comebacks, or just guard punishes, anything really cool that's recognized in any kind of gaming sense uh, will be worth different amounts of points, Cool things, obviously, going to be worth more. Now, how do you enter yourself into the tournament? Well, you can basically do, like, almost anything. So, two ways that I recommend you could submit your gameplay is either by emailing me at mrrelberoblinescool at gmail.com, which is definitely, definitely an email that I had before making this announcement. Uh, or you could just link, um, post the link to a video of your gameplay in the comments of any of my videos, I'll probably see it, preferably a more recent one. But yeah, if you just send me, a, put a comment saying like, oh, it's on my channel, do this one, or send me an email with the file or a link to the, the, the match, I will check it out. And if it is an actual match, I will include it in the tournament. Now, if you're still a little bit confused as to how this whole thing will work, or how the specific, like, marking and stuff will work, uh, I'm gonna show you an example of Regular, my English, English. gameplay, and show you what an example of the, the gameplay will look like when you submit it, and how um, it'll be scored and everything. So, yeah, have a look at this. And a quick note beforehand is that, yes, this is a weird idea. I, It's... Figure skating marked, like gaming, obviously all of the marking and stuff like based off whether it's a basic combo or a really cool combo and the different marks awarded for different things is all objective and down to my own personal opinion. So what I'm basically trying to say is it's not that serious. Like, <laughs> I, I'm gonna be biased, I, I'm not a robot, I can't numerically decide everything and give it a perfect value. Everything in it objective, especially when we're classifying coolness for <laughs> different amounts of points. So just keep that in mind. This is just a bit of fun. It's not that serious, but enjoy this example. Okay, hello everyone. This is Mr. Alvarez. What rude? Senpai. Okay, well I guess we've got commentator Mr. Alvarez here again. Today we're watching some of my old Mirio gameplay and hopefully it's not trash. Okay, nice dodge on the red attack. Going in for a... Oh, a bit of an interesting combo this time. Not one you see all the time. Period. Three points for that one. Nothing too fancy, but a little bit interesting. We love that. Okay, a very basic meterless combo there. Maybe saving up some meter for some plus ultra combos a little bit later for some extra damage. Another super basic combo there. Are you sure about that? And, oh, nice punish from that Todoroki from the Tilquirk 1. Bruh. A few unnecessary dash cancels there, but... Oh, and some nice pressure from the Fireball. I feel, I, sh I feel like I should be commentating this Todoroki, not this dumb Mirio player. And I, oh. Okay, we're back in the neutral. Mirio has to be a bit more careful. Oh, <laughs> random Quirk 1. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm it down, Mirio. <laughs> Whatever the hell just happened, we'll get one point for the whatever the hell just happened, and ten for the victory. Okay, going into round two, how are we gonna start? Oh wow, that red attack is being a big trouble for Mirio. And getting reset there again? 
Nearly going for the recovery reset, Tim. This sort of rocky player is better than I am. Nice dodge on the support and the engage though. Two points for that reaction and dodge. And ooh, this combo's getting extended a bit more. Cashing out with one of the plus ultras so why they don't have supports. And with Harappa, oh, this is being a pretty nice combo. And even though he can break about now, yeah, he broke, but the damage has been done. But because the combo got interrupted, that's only going to be 12 points, but that's still some nice points for a, not so, such a nice fancy combo. Okay, the Todoroki's run away a bit, and now we're back in neutral, where Todoroki's more of an advantage. And I have to be a bit careful here, because this Todoroki seems like he knows what he's doing against the Tilquark 1, so I can't just throw myself in there. Oh, and nice reactions on the dash, and that's going to catch him, because it's invincible. He can't block from the air. No plus ultra finish, though, and that's five points, possible points Guess that have been lost. Is? But that's a dramatic finish, so two points for that. Um, and for the victory, we're on 50. Overall, there was nothing too exceptional about this gameplay. There was some nice reactions and reads on the in the counters and rushdowns, so we're gonna have a total of 55. Nice job, Mr. Oberona.